How's it going everyone? In this video today I'm going to be showing you all how to install Alt Server on your Mac and how to connect it to your iPhone, iPad, or any other iOS device you might have. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to altstore.io and you're going to want to click on Get Alt Store. Then go ahead and download for Mac OS or if you happen to be doing this on Windows, go ahead and download it for Windows. Save that to your files. Go ahead and open that zip file. And then drag the app that came out of the zip file into your applications. And then within applications, double click on Alt Server to run it. It's going to say the app is downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to run it? Go ahead and click on Open. Once the app is open, go up to the top and you'll see it's right here. And I'd recommend launching it at login because then it'll update your custom apps on your phone automatically and we can also enable it to sync over Wi-Fi once we've connected our phone. Next we're going to want to install Alt Store on our device so go ahead and connect your device with a lightning cable to your laptop and once you've connected your device to your computer it's going to ask if you trust this computer if you've never connected it before. Go ahead and click on trust and then enter your iPhone password the one you used to log into the device. Now if we go to install Alt Store again You'll notice that your phone or other device is showing up here. Simply click on install Alt Store and then click on the name of your device. Now it's going to ask for your developer or just regular Apple ID. And it only needs this so it can create custom profiles to run apps on your device. Once you've entered that information, click on install. And shortly after, you should notice on your device, it's going to start installing it. And over on your device, you'll notice if you try to open the app, it's going to say it's from an untrusted developer, which we can fix by going over to settings on our iPhone. So click on cancel, open up settings, go to general, scroll down to VPN and device management. Then you'll see your Apple ID under developer app. Click on that and then click on trust and then trust again. And now that we've trusted our Apple developer, we can go over to the app again and try to launch it. And it's going to ask to send you notifications, and that's fine, because that's going to tell you when your apps need to be refreshed with the alt server on your laptop. And it's going to ask to find local devices on your network. This is, once again, so that it can refresh over the network, which we will have to enable on our laptop. That's pretty easy to do. Now, within the app on our phone, go over to Settings, and then click on Sign In with Apple ID. Once again, go ahead and put in your Apple ID. And here are the steps we'll need to sync over Wi-Fi. Now, going back to our device, go over to the device under locations and you're going to want to trust it on the laptop as well and on general you see options at the bottom make sure you click on show this iPhone when on the same Wi-Fi network this will allow Alt Server to automatically connect to your phone over the Wi-Fi and you won't have to connect it to a cable every single time and it will automatically refresh all of your apps which is nice and just like that Alt Server is already ready to use but there are a few other things we need to do like for example, Alt-Jit allows you to run some more advanced and more uh, sophisticated applications like Dolphin, which is a Wii emulator for your phone. And you will have to have your laptop open for that because over in the settings here, you can see that there's an Enable JIT option, which you'll have to do each time you try to run a uh, JIT support application, which stands for Just In Time. And you're just going to have to click on Enable JIT Alt Store or it'll say like Dolphin or something. And as you can see here, over on Alt Store for iOS, you have a different selection of repos here which you can just go ahead and add them all if you'd like there's a variety of different apps included which are all trusted and they have like say minecraft java for ios there's obviously the dolphin i've been talking about which runs the wii apps and there's also utm which i have made various videos about and that allows you to run different os's within apple's new architecture even including x86 and x64 emulation and you'll notice now if we go back over to browse we now have this selection of apps which we can simply download to our device just by clicking on the free. So I'll go ahead and download Dolphin for us. Now you'll notice on Alt Store, under My Apps, you'll see Dolphin's installed, and it has to be trusted every seven days, which is why it's important to have a Wi-Fi sync so that it'll do that automatically. And on our home screen, we also have Dolphin now. Which we can open up, and then if you'd like, you can share um, statistics with the developers. And now we can just go ahead and play games like normal. So we can just find like ROMs and stuff online and it's just as simple as that. And it might ask for JIT support, which all you have to do to run that is once again, go back to your laptop and then go over to enable JIT, 
for that device and then you'll see now that it has the dolphin under it and yeah that's about all there is to it i do plan on making another video or a follow-up to installing custom ipas because alt store does allow for that now which is a very recent feature so make sure to stay tuned and i hope i helped you guys out